the next topic is on probabilities probability is basically trying to formulate or trying to uh, get an understanding about random events or chances now say for example you toss a coin what is the probability it's going to be head so the technically theoretically the answer is 50 percent and the tails will also be 50 percent because there are only two possible outcomes but in reality sometimes you toss a coin for the five times uh, for five times and all the five might be winding up as head so that means the probability of tail was zero and 100 percent was head but the thing about this is the theoretical probability is always what will happen if you do uh, lots of tries. But if you try this uh, experiment for 100 tries or 1000 tries, then no matter what, your probability will be very close to 50. It may not be 50, it will be say 48 or 49 percent. So this is the uh, beauty of probability. Uh, so we are trying to model out, you know, chances. Now over here, they have asked a question, what is the probability of drawing a card from a standard deck and not getting the spade? Now standard deck means, I'm sure most of you might have played cards and you know cards very well. So now there are four suits, that is spades, now spades is something like, okay, that is very bad spades, but anyways, that is a spade. Then there's hearts, diamonds, and clovers. So clovers is like a tree over here, like this, three things, okay? Now, okay, this spade is really, really bad, so I'll just do a better one. Okay, something like this. Okay, at least something better. Now, these are the four suits. How many of these cards are there? If you count, it'll be 13 in each. So there are 13, 13, 13, and 13. So now, the standard deck only considers these four suits and 13 cards of these. The jokers are not included. So it is 52 cards only. So you must remember whenever they ask you questions about probability, standard deck means only 52 cards. So they are not asking the probability of getting a spade. They are asking what is the probability of not getting a spade. So this basically works by... If you know, uh, bef before I continue with this problem, let me just tell you this. There is a probability of 25% that it will rain. 25% that, say, on a particular day, it's going to rain. Now, if I ask you, what is the probability it will not rain? So that would mean 100 minus 25. That would, that would be the percent. 75% it will not rain. Only 25% it's going to rain percentages always add up to 100 the same way over here if you see it is p whatever the thing you don't want right not getting a spade that probability is 1 minus probability of getting it same way now over here uh, just now i did in percentages say 25 percent is 0 0.25 sorry it's 0 0.25 probability that it will rain it won't rain us 1 minus 0 0.25 that is 0 0.75 so that is the answer similarly let's try over here the probability of getting a spade we know there are 13 spades and the total cards are 52 so this is the probability of getting a spade so 1 minus 13 by 52 is the answer so if you put it in the calculator you're going to get 3 by 4 that is 75 0.75 or 75 percent that's that's how we can solve this very easy similarly you can solve these the explanations are written over here in detail over here what is the probability of flipping a coin and not landing on tails see now this is some of this you do not need to solve all this you can directly tell the answer probability of flipping a tail is 50 percent not flipping is also 50 percent so that's it that is 0 0.5 now percentage 50 percent or you can solve it as you know uh, decimal just divided by 100 percent this symbol means it's divided by 100 it is always per divided by cent cent is 100 so that will be 0 0.5 or you have the symbol in the calculator directly you can put the symbol as well it's up to you 
Now we have Carmela purchased 10 raffle tickets. If 250 were sold, what is the probability that the ticket will not be drawn? Same way. The probability 10 she has chosen, so the probability of winning is 10 by 250. Not winning is 1 minus that. So 90 96% chances that a ticket won't be drawn similarly please do try this by yourselves and then check the answers now these are all similar and sometimes you do not even need to solve this see for example a survey found that about 90 percent of the juniors junior classes right-handed if one is chosen in random out of 100 what is the probability that she is left-handed so 90% in this, that is 90 of them are right-handed. How many are left-handed? 10, 10%, that is 0 0.1. That's it. So you can just look into it and even solve it easily. Same way you can go through these. Now over here, at a Riverview High School, 120 students were asked whether they prefer a lion or a timber wolf as the new school mascot. What is the probability that a randomly selected student will have voted for lion as the new school mascot? Now over here, they need a logo. I mean, um, the, it's either lion, timber wolf. They have two choices. And the votes over here for lion are 78. They want to know if they choose a student in random, what is the probability that that student had voted for lion? So the probability, this can be solved by number of desired outcomes see now this is what we are looking for desired is 78 divided by total outcomes that is 120 so this would be the probability if you solve this you'll get the answer it's 78 divided by 120 or 13 by 20 or 0 0.65 you can see the lions are leading than the timber, timber wolf so it's about 65 percent votes are for lion whereas the remaining 35 are for timber wolf i hope this is clear this is the last problem of this in ivan's senior class of 240 students 85 percent are planning to attend college after graduation what is the probability that a senior chosen at random is not planning to attend the college after graduation again it's very easy very simple now 240 85 percent are planning what is the probability percentage that it won't be attending it's 15 percent 15 percent of 240 will be the answer so it's 15 percent over here that's that's it so 0 0.15 now some of these you do not need to solve you can directly you know look into the problem and uh, understand the answer so make sure you go through these solve it by yourself and then check the answers